Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to our ongoing series of lectures on anesthesiology. Today we are going to talk about isoflurane. We discuss in this video, dosage, mechanism of action, physical properties, adverse effects, contraindications. So let's go to start our lecture. Isoflurane Invented in 1979, non-flammable it vaporizes readily but is a liquid at room temperature, isoflurane is halogenated ether. Clear, colorless, stable liquid, pungent, musty, ethyl chemical stabilizers. Mechanism of Action Isoflurane binds GABA glutamate and glycine receptors, but has different effects on each receptor. It acts as a positive allosteric modulator of the GABA, receptor in electrophysiology studies of neurons and recombinant receptors. It potentiates glycine receptor activity, which decreases motor function. It also inhibits receptor activity in the NMDA glutamate receptor subtypes. It inhibits conduction in activated potassium channels. It also affects intracellular molecules. It activates calcium ATPase by increasing membrane fluidity. Physical properties Molecular weight 84.5 g per mol. Boiling point at 1 atm 84.5 degrees centigrade. Density at 25 degrees centigrade 1.496 g per mL. MAC 1.15 volume percent. Water solubility 13.5 mm at 25 degrees centigrade. Blood gas partition. Coefficient 1.4. Oil gas partition coefficient 98. Routes of administration, inhalation. Formula C3H2CIF5O. Pharmacokinetics. Onset, rapid 7 to 10 minutes. Duration, short. Metabolism, liver 0.2%. Dosage forms and strengths. Inhalation solution, available as 30 milliliters, 100 milliliters, and 250 milliliters. Anesthesia induction and maintenance. Use calibrated vaporizer. Induction, 1.5 to 3% can produce surgical anesthesia in 7 to 10 minutes. Maintenance, 1 to 2.5% with nitrous oxide, additional 0.5 to 1% may be needed if given with oxygen alone. Adverse effects, 1 to 10%. Nausea, vomiting, shivering, hypotension. Less than 1%. Arrhythmias, malignant hyperthermia, elevation in white blood count, hepatic dysfunction, respiratory depression, hyperkalemia. Elevated carboxyhemoglobin level. Contraindications. Hypersensitivity, malignant hyperthermia. Careful in use. Coronary heart disease. Chronic renal and liver diseases. Hyperkalemia. Ventricular dysfunction. Prolonged use in general anesthesia. Latent neuromuscular diseases. Obstetrical anesthesia. Anesthesia with Dr. T. Please subscribe to my channel for more videos. Thanks.